Welcome to my channel. Let us see a topic in differential geometry, spheroid Frenet formula. So we will be deriving this formula. Um, introduction to spheroid Frenet formula. We have a space curve, the vectors T, N, and B, and the oscillating plane spanned by T and N, where N is the normal, T is the tangent, and B is the binomial, where B is equal to T cross N. In differential geometry, the frenet serret formulas describe the kinematic properties of a particle moving along a continuous differentiable curve in three-dimensional Euclidean space RQ or the geometric properties of the curve itself irrespective of any motion. More specifically, the formulas describe the derivatives of the so-called tangent, normal and binomial unit vectors in terms of each other. The formulas are named after the two French mathematicians who independently discovered them, Jean Frederick Frenet in his thesis of 1847 and Joseph Alfred Serret in 1851. Vector notation and linear algebra currently used to write these formulas were not yet in use at the time of discovery. The tangent, normal and binomial unit vectors often called T, N and B or collectively the serret Frenet frame or T and B frame together form an orthonormal basis spanning R cube and are defined as follows. T is the unit vector tangent to the curve pointing in the direction of motion. N is the normal unit vector, the derivative of T with respect to the arc length parameter of the curve divided by its length. B is the binomial unit vector, the cross product of T and N. So, which is usually denoted as B is equal to T cross N will be used in this theorem later. The frenet serret formulas are dt by ds is equal to kn, dn by ds equal to minus kt plus tau b, db by ds equal to minus tau n, where d by ds is the derivative with respect to arc length, k is the curvature and tau is the torsion of the curve. The two scalars, k and tau, effectively define the curvature and torsion of a space curve. The associated collection t and b, k and tau is called the serret frenet apparatus. Intuitively, curvature measures the failure of a curve to be a straight line, while torsion measures the failure of a curve to be planar. So we have a theorem related to the serret Frenet formula. Theorem of T and, and B is the moving orthogonal trial of unit vectors at a point P on a space curve gamma. Then TT by DS is equal to KN. DN by DS is equal to minus KT plus tau B. TB by DS is equal to minus tau N. Where these three formulas will be derived in the proof. So proof first, we'll prove first and third and then we'll derive two. Part one to prove first, differentiating t dot t is equal to one, t dot t dash is equal to zero, so that t dash is perpendicular to t. Since t is equal to dr by ds, which is equal to r dash, t dash is equal to r double dash, as r double dash lies in the oscillating plane. t dash is also lies in the oscillating plane. Since t dash is a vector perpendicular to t and lies in the oscillating plane, hence t dash is parallel to the principal normal. By definition, mod t dash is equal to k being the curvature at p on the curve. Since we know the magnitude k and the direction n of t dash, t dash is equal to plus or minus kn. By convention, we take t dash is equal to kn, so which will be dt by ds is equal to kn. So part 2, to prove the differentiating b dot b is equal to 1, b dot b dash is equal to 0. So b dash is perpendicular to the binomial at p. Hence b dash lies in the rectifying plane since b dot t is equal to 0. Differentiating b t dash plus t b dash is equal to 0 which is equation 1. Using part 1, put t dash is equal to kn in equation 1. b dot kn plus t b dash is equal to 0. b dot n is equal to 0. We get t b dash is equal to 0. b dash is perpendicular to t. Therefore b dash is a vector perpendicular to t and lies in the oscillating plane hence b dash is parallel to the principal normal at p by definition mod b dash is equal to tau the torsion at p we know the magnitude tau and the direction n of b dash opposite direction b dash is equal to minus tau n db by d is equal to minus tau n where the negative sign is introduced because as a convention torsion is regarded as positive when the rotation of the oscillating plane as yes increases is in the direction of a right-handed screw 
moving in the direction of T. Therefore, um, part two is derived. So part 3 to prove second, let us consider n is equal to b cross t. Differentiating with respect to s, we obtain dn by ds is equal to db by dt cross t plus b cross d t by ds, which is equation 2. Using 1 and 3 into dn by ds is equal to minus tau n cross t plus b cross kn. So n cross t is equal to minus b and since b cross n is equal to minus t so these both will be used in the next uh, dn by ds is equal to b cross kn minus tau n cross t which is equal to k of b cross n minus tau of n cross t which is equal to k of minus t minus tau of minus b which is equal to minus kt plus tau b therefore dn by ds is equal to tau b minus kt therefore part 3 is also proved therefore tangent normal and binomial of serret frenet formula is completely derived thank you for watching my video further subscribe my channel thank you